how do we create this joint without any local coordinate system hello my friends i am kadzis and welcome to another free cad tutorial today we are going to learn about this game changing free cad assembly workbench in upcoming free cad version 0.22 and onzel FreeCAD is going to use the open source on-cell solver as the new built-in assembly workflow. As you see, this cylindrical shaft can translate and rotate about a fixed ring and was created with few steps without any local coordinate system. Okay, let's get going. First, what we will do is uh, we will go to the assembly workbench and we are in the assembly workbench now so i'm going to start a new uh, workspace here and um, we're going to start with creating a assembly create assembly so let's create a, that assembly now now you can see this there's joins uh, button appearing we'll get to it uh, when we go through the tutorial okay so in this assembly workbench uh, which is much improved than the assembly four work uh, bench we have it uh, and you can create parts inside this assembly workbench so what i can do is i can go to the part design workbench and start creating uh, parts okay so i'm going to create a part here and if i go here i can see that that body is appearing here okay so now what i can do is i can create go to sketch and pick let's say xy plane and now uh, i can create some uh, geometric feature so i'm just going to create a simple circle here uh, i'm not going to dimension it uh, it's not necessary for this uh, tutorial i'm going to just get out of here and i'm going to pad that now uh, let's say i'm going to give 100 millimeters to that now you can see that yeah that part is created uh, and then i'm going to re uh, rename this i'm going to press f2 key let's say and then say i can slide it can give any name but i'm going to give a slider okay now uh, in order to create a joint we need another part so we need to create another part okay so i'm going to create go back to uh, part design uh, i don't know how i got out of that but uh, we are back in the part design workbench i'm going to create another body uh, and then uh, i'm going to create a sketch as well i'm going to arbitrary pick a uh, plane here okay let's say i'm going to pick uh, create the uh, going to create uh maybe a ring okay let's see yeah that's good uh another circle inside it uh, okay that's good i'm not going to dimension again uh, i'm going to get out of here and then i'm going to pad it uh, let me maybe make it like 20 mils or maybe 30 mils Okay, so I have another body created. I can once again rename, rename it. Uh, let's say ring. Okay, so we got two bodies. Now uh, I'll be going back into the assembly workbench. Now um, I when I click on them and try to move them around, they are not moving. So what I need to do is to act activate this assembly i double click it now the assembly is activated now if i want to move things around i can move uh, anywhere i want now uh, you might be surprised that this feature was not available to us in assembly 4 uh, so this is a new uh, very i would say um, handy feature when it comes to uh, uh, 
dynamically moving parts around so that's that's a very good uh, feature that is added to the uh, assembly workbench okay now i can move this guy also around now if you don't believe that these are not moving in workspace i can show you that okay i have uh, like let's say 121.5 millimeters between the dis between the the distance between the two parts now i can move this guy around and i can measure it again and see where we are now it's about 204 millimeters okay so yeah it's it's you can move arbitrarily in the workspace okay so i'm going to delete these uh, delete press delete button to remove those uh, dimensions now uh now i'm in the assembly now first thing you to need to do is here is to ground one part okay uh, in in the uh, assembly workbench you are required to do that uh, otherwise your assembly will not be correctly uh, it won't be able to solve it correctly okay so what i will do is i will ground this guy okay so i going to pick this body and say maybe i'm going to just going to pick the whole thing and say ground okay now when you ground it you have this padlock uh, symbol appear in front of the ring that means this part is grounded now now what is that means is i can't move this guy around now i can move this guy still around but i can't move this guy around because it's locked it means it's all degrees freedom of this part is pretty much locked okay now since we have locked this now this you have options of creating various uh, joints okay so if you go here you can create a revolute joint you can create a, a fixed joint you can create a cylindrical joint a slider joint ball joint and even uh, create some distance uh, between the two hardware okay so that's the uh, you know uh, main uh, joints available in assembly uh, workbench okay now since we have set the groundwork to create this joint let's go and create a joint okay now uh, this is quite easier if you have dealt with assembly 4 you have to create uh, local coordinate systems or maybe datum lines and you have to you know bring parts together by aligning your local coordinate system you don't have to do any of that so that's a pretty big improvement in this assembly workbench and and by the way this assembly workbench is already integrated into the FreeCAD 0.22, which is coming, uh, and it's already available in on sale. Okay, that's the uh, more like a commercial version of the FreeCAD. So that's already available. This so it is coming in our next iteration of the uh, FreeCAD. Okay, now let's go and create a joint let's start with a, a fixed joint what you have to do here is uh, pick the surface uh, any surface and press the control button and let's say i go to pick this surface okay and say fixed now you can see that that is nicely aligned the cylinder uh, or the slider is nicely aligned inside this ring okay so you can you know make some offset let's say i can do a 10 mil offset i can rotate a little bit it is rotating but it's it's you know pretty much uh, you know where we want it okay so you say okay now you have the joint okay now it's a fixed joint you cannot change anything you can move anything okay so it's fixed this part is pretty much these two parts are pretty much fixed okay now let's see where this joint is created i can see that i have this fixed 
joint appearing under these joint uh, under this joint uh, tree okay now i also have this ground uh, grounded joint which is essentially the grounded part of the, this ring is appearing here so it's basically under these joints you have you can get all your joints uh, kind of a, a, a documented underneath this joint okay so whenever you want to have uh, uh, look for a joint you will go here and you can find the specific joint now uh, it will be a good practice for you to kind of a rename rather than you know having this as a uh, you know just the fixed joint you can name it or kind of a link the naming convention should have what the two parts that has been uh, fixed okay so um, now let's go here and uh, I wanted to see this so let's I, I, what I did was I pressed the space bar to see the uh, local coordinate system so if I press the space bar it will uh, disappear but now I want to see it so I press the space bar again now uh, you can see this uh, the local coordinate system is appearing here now let's keep it that way and let's click on this fixed joint and see what we can do here. Now I have the fixed joint. Now I have this uh, menu and I can go to any of these joints or I can change th the joint from fixed to a revolute joint. Let's do that and see what happens. Now I change it to a revolute joint. Now what? let's see what, what is happening here now i can rotate it right you can see it is rotation right or maybe it's not really clear let's do this way it is rotating okay so you can move around you can dynamically move and rotate the uh, uh, slider so that's the revolute joint so what we did was we created this joint. Okay, now let's go into this further and see. Let's make a cylindrical joint. Come back here. Now what we can do is we can move this guy in an axis. Essentially, it's moving inside this uh, ring axis. It's not going anywhere else, but only uh, moving in the axis or uh, uh, parallel to that axis. And also, I can rotate it. Right? I can rotate it and uh, slide it. So it's the cylindrical joint. Okay. And let's go here and change this to slider only. Now it's a sliding joint. Now I can move around. <clears throat> but I can't rotate it. I, I'm trying to rotate it, it doesn't rotate. So that's the sliding joint. Okay. And go here and maybe change it to a ball joint. See what happens. Now it is kind of a, it, it's a logged at the origin. So it's a ball joint, but I can't you know do anything else i can't translate it it's logged in okay so i'm going to get out of that and i'm going to go back to let's say um, cylindrical and i'm going to keep it that way okay now that's kind of the main set of joints we uh, are going to deal with uh, on a daily basis. So that's a very simple way of describing the joints that is in the assembly workbench. Okay. Now it's not just you can put multiple joints. You can have you know maybe 10, 15, 20, how many ever joints you want to put into the model. You can have all of them defined here. Okay. Now um, I can maybe uh, in order to demonstrate uh, one more jo joint, let's create one more. So what we have to do is create another body. Let's let's uh, recompute. 
let's go to the part design again and create another body and this time this body is created here and i'm going to let's say i'm going to create a uh, any arbitrary uh, workspace or a sketcher and i'm going to let's say put something here okay i'm not going to dimensioning it i'm going to get out of here pad it uh, maybe what i will do is make it like 50. okay now i would like to uh, basically join this guy to here okay all you have to do is to go back to the assembly now you are in the assembly now keep in mind you need to activate the assembly again because it's now inactive uh, because yeah, that's why this all these buttons appear gray so you make it active everything now on now what you can do is you want you can maybe you know pick this uh, let's do this let's pick this surface uh, pick that one Pre uh, press control button and pick this guy and create a fixed joint okay so i can yeah i don't like this direction let's flip this guy so okay i got that now you have a, a fixed joint created so you can see now that fixed joint is appearing here i can press the space bar to make it uh, uh, visible now you can see that uh, that i have uh, two joints under this joint uh, tree and now i can since i have a cylindrical joint what i can do is i can move things around okay now um, this dynamically uh, translating or rotating or moving this is pretty critical when you get to a more complex joints okay because then you can see how the jaw all the joints behaving and now overall how the assembly is behaving uh, dynamically uh, and that's a, a very uh, advantage uh, in this assembly workbench uh, because in the assembly four you have to create a, a, like a, some kind of a, a animation to see it but you don't have to do that you can kind of a dynamically move things around to see the uh, uh, overall assembly behavior so this kind of uh, concludes this uh, tutorial it's a very simple tutorial but i'm going to get into more into this assembly uh, workbench i see that a lot of potential with this assembly workbench uh, in the free cad so we will have more complex uh, assemblies created so uh, stay tuned uh, and uh, subscribe and give a thumbs up to this uh, tutorial and to subscribe to the, my channel as I will be putting more tutorials. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a good day.